Okay, just a quick video to show you how to wind a toroidal transformer. This is the toroidal core. Here's a piece of wire. We can use online calculators to tell us how many turns we have to put on this core in order to reach the inductance requirement of our circuit, which is about three microhenries. But for now, the first thing I'm going to show you is how physically how I wind them. There's kind of a a knack to it. So start out with a piece of wire. Every time the wire passes through the core, that counts as one turn. So I start with the first one like that. One. Come up here. Do another one. Two turns. And it's just like sewing. Three turns. You got to keep them lined up next to each other. I use these fingers sometimes to push it out to get it in the right spot. Four turns, five turns, six turns. See how it's looking there? Look, looking pretty good there like that. Seven turns, and you just keep on going. Now we've calculated that we need, I think about 26 turns here to get to the required number. I won't bore you with all 26 turns. But you're putting them on like that, you see? And you're making sure that they don't overlap each other or anything like that. The easiest way to do it is just to grab it with your two fingers and then pull this one through like that. And then use these fingers to position it as it gets closer to the core. And then boom, there you go. All right, so that's how you wind them. And what you end up with is something like this, you see? So there's 26 turns on this thing. But, but there's something else I want to show you first. You see how I've got these the leads are kind of tinned. They've got solder on them already. That makes it easier when you want to solder it onto the board. You put it down, you solder it. And because these wires have gotten the enamel insulation taken off and replaced with some solder, it makes it easier, much easier when you have to solder it to the pad. Now, the way I get the insulation off, oops, I dropped my, dropped my cigarette lighter. Let me show you. This is the way I get the insulation off. I use, I burn it off, okay? Different people have different ways of doing it. This is the way I do it. Light it up, and then I hold it in the hot part of the flame till it flares. You can see it burns. Okay, look, it burnt off. Now, then I take a little piece of scotch Bright pad, and I take off the residue. Get the residue off of there. Now it looks nice and nice and clean, right? Okay, but that's not really enough. To really make it, to tin it, to do what we call tinning it, you have to put a little bit of solder on there. And I'll, and I'll do that now. I'll show you how I do it. I take the soldering iron, and I just put the soldering iron on the wire, heat the wire up, and melt some solder onto it. Often you have to kind of put like a bead of solder and it's kind of running up and down see like that you can see there's no longer the the enamel and now there's a nice coating of solder that i'm leaving on the wire there you go you can see it shimmering there like that see it i hope it shows up in the video but anyway there's there's now solder on there and when it comes time for you to solder this to the board it's going to make soldering it to the board much much easier and you can be much more assured of a good solder joint. So that's the, the tinning. And then, and you'll see here that I have uh, tinned both the wires on the final cor corner. Now this is a transformer, which means we have two different cores. And so what we have to do is we have to take another bit of wire and we have to put it over this one and that'll form the other side of the transformer because this transformer is gonna be involved in transforming voltages and impedances. For the second wire, we make things easier, and we just use a piece of this copper wire with plastic insulation. We could do that, because there's only gonna be about five turns. But watch how I do it. I'll put this through, again, we need about an inch, right, to start it off. Then I'll flip it over, like this, there it goes, like that. And then I'll just start winding, look. There's one turn already. We need five turns. So one, two, 
Oh man, I okay, keep getting off camera. Let me start over again with that one. Hold on. Look, I want to show you. I'm looking. I'm looking over the phone, so it's uh, it's kind of hard hard to do it sometimes. Look. So what we'll do is look. Go like this here. Put this through there, and then just take it down about about an inch. All right. Flip it over. Okay. Look here. And put this this through here. One. Two. Get it in position where you want it down there. You want it down there near the end. Two. Oops. Having trouble getting it through there. Three. My finger in the way. Got fat finger syndrome. <laughs> Three. Four. And five. Now we put five turns on there. Take a look and make sure that they're kind of lined up right. You don't want them down there towards the end. You don't want them overlapping each other. That's fine. Uh, and then cut this. You can cut this off because this is just going to go to one of the connectors. And down here, what we're going to do is we're going to strip this off. Strip off the insulation here. Wrap it around like that. And then we're going to solder these two wires together. Like here, I could have wrapped them a little bit better, but that's all right. Oops. All right, there you go. And so now these uh, these wires are soldered down. Now, when, you, when it comes time to put this on the board, now all you're gonna have to do now is solder that to the board. This is gonna go to the input connection, and this is gonna go to the remainder of, of the filter. You'll do two of these, and that's how you, you get what you, what you need. Now, one thing, one other, one other thing we do is we test. We just say, hey, wait a second, how much inductance did I put on that first set of turns there? We gotta just check it before we put it in the circuit. Remember I said it should be around three micro -hammies. So I got this meter here. This is the LC meter. Really handy device. So I power it up. It's calibrating. And it says it's ready ready to measure in micro micro units. So put it put it this LX stands for inductance. So it's saying hey this is not an inductor but that means all it wants to do is to zero it out. So you go like this and then you zero it out. Zero and now it's ready to measure. So we'll take this and we'll just hook it up to the, to the coil that we've made here, already tinned and everything. We're just gonna, we're just gonna look at one, the, 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 main, the main turn. We're not worried about so much about the, the, the other one. And what does it measure? Look, 2.993, that's really close to three. Let me show you a little trick. If you wanted to make it, if you wanted to increase the inductance a bit, you could just squish the wires together a little bit and look what it does. 3026. Very close. Boom. We're ready to go. We're ready to put this in the circuit and be confident that it's going to be right around the three micro Henry's that we need. And then it'll make the uh, the filter all that easy, much easier to check. We don't have to have it super precise because we have some trimmer capacitors in there that let us adjust it. But this is close enough that we won't require all that much trimming. Anyway, that's how you wind uh, toroids toroidal transformers and um, you only have to do two of these and you'll end up with a circuit that looks like this here it is look here they are here's two of the two of the toroidal transformers that i built there's a little capacitor that goes between it and then we even have a couple of trimmer capacitors here and you'll build something like sim something very similar almost identical to this using this kind of transformer right there boom in there like that and this will get you board number three. And then we will have, we will have done three of the four boards uh, for this project. All right, so let's get to building. Let's get these things done. Again, make haste quickly. <laughs> make haste, make, make haste quick, make, make haste slowly. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, gotta work with precision and, uh, but with determination so you get this thing done. You, you guys are getting very close. It's, uh, you know, this will be the third board. We only have four. And then the radio, radio receiver will be completed.